Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to eat. Um, I'm just sitting in the back garden. I was semi-naked a few minutes ago. Um, not really fully though. But often I am nude as the day I was born and as I will pass out of this world. And it just dawned on me to share this video, this creative inspiration that I had to, with you all because I just wanted to say that as comfortable, hey ma'am, as comfortable you are with your own sexuality will depend on how much judgment you have of the sexuality of another person. The more comfortable you are with your, your own body and your own sexuality will determine how comfortable or judgmental and uptight and tense and nervous and worried and looking at and obsessed over the body or the sexuality of other people. And this relates to people who are gay, gay or lesbian or whatever the words you want to use. And um, there's all sorts of stuff going on, you know. And so when you accept and love unconditionally your body and your sexual nature, your sexual energy, your sexual wishes, desires, impulses, um, your sexual feelings, your sexual appetite, whatever the words you want to use. <laughs> when you accept yourself for being possibly fat body temporarily or thin, skinny, slim, <laughs> overweight, obese, funny shape in the tummy, thin leg, hair, hair style, hair color, whatever, anything. I'm just putting all these words out here because I'm aware some of them are like sensitive or could be potentially triggering, but that's why I'm putting it out there because it's an opportunity to become more comfortable and to accept and to love differences and our own body and our own sexuality and other people's sexual and body and then there's the last thing i want to mention in this video our own self-esteem when we accept and love ourselves for who and how we are and why we are at this moment which is always changing and, and going forward we will be have much more acceptance love compassion tolerance and understanding for other people where they are on their journey and how they're progressing and changing or how slowly or fast they're changing you know so the more we can make peace and accept ourselves, the less, the less judgmental and frustrated we will become with other people and we'll accept and love them the way they are and have peace towards them. So that's really the quick part of this video I wanted to say. It's like definitely very life-changing and very powerful. For me personally, I've very 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 comfortable with my own body very very comfortable comfortable and loving of my own body and sexual way uh, my sexual nature and energy too so the, the more comfortable and accept loving and comfortable we become the less deviancy happens with the body to or to just general behavior towards other people or sexually too for example, I hear the naked cultures, the tribes, there's hardly any like sexual, like rape or like bad stuff going on. So it's when you suppress stuff and have perverted thoughts about stuff, that's when weird actions happen. And it's the same when you don't love yourself, that's when weird hap actions happen towards other people. Or if you don't love others unconditionally, then it, it can also be weird actions towards yourself. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I love using that word sometimes. I'm just kind of like making light and making fun of it, you know. So yeah, I hope you get the gist of this message. It's like, yeah, that's it. I'll leave it at that, short and sweet. So have a beautiful day. And I hope this message helped you. Hope we learned a lesson. Comfortable and love and free. We all want freedom. Freedom, happiness and peace. I've, I've gained so much of it throughout my lifetime especially in the last few years of, as I've continued on my awakening journey. It's been phenomenal and powerful, truly life-changing. I won't go on about it, but I'm just so glad to be, able to be where I am. And it takes time. So it takes conscious efforts and a deliberate wish and intention to grow up and to mature spiritually. But the rewards are endless, and it's totally beautifully selfish to do this because you gain so much. And I don't mean selfish as in... Other people don't benefit. I just mean it's like it's a benefit to oneself to grow up and mature spirit spiritually. 
to see the deeper and broader perspective of life and the greater or deeper meanings of life too. The purpose of things happening and why we go through stuff. It's for the, it's for the growth and experience of our soul, you know. So nothing is bad. Things just serve expansion and serves in creating an expanded wish in our, in, inside of us, a burning wish and desire for what we want to create and be and do in life. So all, all experiences are totally 100% valid, worthwhile and absolutely brilliant. They all forge us and they mold us like a diamond in the making. So we are the diamond now. We're not like, we're not, we're becoming. It's, it's all brilliant where we are. The trick is to be satisfied and happy with where we are and what we have right now. That's the secret, everybody. And to save our life because it could end tomorrow. So love and appreciate and savor and be satisfied with life right now, right here. And go forward with a more sense of lightheartedness with your challenges and the stuff you got to do, etc., etc., etc. It's 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 really good to get out of our comfort zones, everybody. So I've started taking a cold shower every day now, almost. It just is a practice of getting out of my comfort zone. But um, yeah, just tackling the things that we feel we need to do or gotta do, and just tackling them with a better attitude, a better perspective. Accepting and loving growth and being outside of our comfort zone. And then life becomes way easier and more fun. But don't be afraid of challenges, everyone. Don't be afraid. We've come here for growth and expansion and learning and creation. So we're co-creators. So everyone, lots of love. Have a beautiful day. Um, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a like and a share. And subscribe if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. And thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. And if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. I'd love to hear your your intake, your, your sharing. And I'd, I'll answer any questions too. Okay, take care. Lots of love. Have a beautiful day. And have fun and laugh. Don't forget to laugh, everybody. Don't forget to